Sounds Since the high-quality PA3X sounds are the basis of the styles and your playing, in this chapter we'll look at the sounds in depth. When the instrument is first turned on, the default style is Latin jazz band, and a stereo piano sound is across the whole range of the keyboard. To select a sound, touch the upper one area in the upper right corner of the screen, containing the name of the current sound, Concert Grand RX. Touch any sound on the screen to select the sound you want, for example, G Piano Stack 1. Press Exit to return to the main screen. You can also press one of the Sound Select buttons here to open the same selection window. Press Upper 1. The screen displays eight sounds at a time, but you can access many more sounds by accessing the tabs along the bottom. The sounds are grouped in categories, which can be selected using the tabs on the left and right. Additional sounds can be accessed with the tabs along the top. Make sure you're on the Factory tab. Select Trumpet and Trombone category and touch Jazz Trombone 2 DNC. DNC, Defined Nuance Control, is the ability to control different nuances of the instruments. For example, when you play this trombone, you get the basic sound of the instrument. If you press Switch 1, then play a note, you get a gliss. The ribbon, joystick, and switches can introduce different DNC nuances. The DNC sounds can even respond to how you play the keyboard, for example, legato. Sounds with this type of control always have DNC in the name. Go to the Organ category and select Digit Drawbar, short for Digital Drawbar. The nine drawbars of the organ are displayed on the screen, and the sliders are automatically set to use as drawbars. You can even use the touch screen. There's a rotary speaker effect on the organ. Pushing the joystick forward changes the speed. No need to hold it. In fact, the PA3X has a huge library of effects like chorus, distortion, etc. that can be used to enhance the real-time and accompaniment tracks. Effects will be explained in detail in the Style chapter. Press Exit. You can have up to three sounds in the upper range and one sound in the lower. Let's combine some sounds. For the upper one sound, from the Piano category, select Grand Piano RX. Notice that the screen shows that Upper 2 and 3 are muted. Touch here to unmute Upper 2. You can also use the switches in the Real-Time Track section to mute and unmute. Press the Split button, and now the three upper sounds are above the split point, and you now have access to the lower sound. Of course, you can choose whatever sound you want for any of the real-time tracks. You'll notice that there is a bass playing the lowest note in your chord. This is very useful for playing introductions to songs you are about to play. However, if you wish, you can disable this function in the Style Preferences. Let's make some more changes. You can quickly bring all the upper sounds down one octave by pressing the Upper Octave Minus button. You can even go to the Subscale tab and change to a different scale, such as Arabic. Let's adjust the levels of Upper 2 and 3 using sliders 6 and 7. Touch the Volume tab to see the actual volumes. Now open the Page menu. We can save the real-time track setup we've created to one of the performance locations. For now, touch anywhere outside of the page menu to make it disappear, and let's take a closer look at performances. It's important to understand the difference between a sound and a performance. Go to Sound Mode, touch the name, and you will see all the different sounds grouped together in instrument families. 
These are the sounds used by the different tracks of the style accompaniment. For example, the bass track might use this bass sound. Another track might use this electric piano sound. These sounds are also used individually or combined together for your real-time tracks, like we did earlier. We used a sound from the piano category for upper one, a sound from the strings category for upper two, etc. Sometimes your real-time tracks might be a layer of three sounds on the top plus a sound in the lower, or it could simply be one sound in the upper. Whatever your real-time tracks are, including the levels, panning, effects, etc., they can be saved and recalled as a performance. Think of the performances as a library of your favorite real-time track setups. On the right, there are 16 performance buttons. These open up a selection of performances that you can choose from the display. For example, press Electric Piano and select Classic E-Piano. As you can see, there are several provided by Korg. These tabs take you to more groups of eight performances. You can also repeatedly press the Performance Category buttons to advance through the tabs. Press the Piano button and select Concert Grand EXP. Let's make a quick edit to this piano performance and save it. Press Menu and touch Pad Assignable Switch. Go to the Switch page where you can assign the function of the three switches near the joystick. Open the Switch 3 menu and scroll over and select Vocal Remover On-Off. Open the Page menu and touch Write Performance. We'll keep the same name and write it over the same performance location by touching OK. Touch Yes to confirm. Press Exit. We'll be using Switch 3 to do this function later in the Song Play chapter. It's a very useful function, and since this is the first performance that is called up when you turn on the PA3X, Switch 3 will always be set this way. Of course, feel free to change it later to any function that suits your needs. By the way, the Shift button usually gives you a shortcut to the edit page of a button you press. Hold down Shift and press Switch 3, and we instantly go to the edit page for the switches. Press Exit. Specific editing of any of the sounds is done in sound mode. Also, sound mode is where you access the sampling functions of the PA3X.